another day, another annoying YouTuber to stop on the internet. But before we get into that, have you guys seen that I have merch at johnnygilbert.com like this t-shirt? I am a sellout. Anyways, if you want to check out my merch, it's at johnnygilbert.com. It helps me eat food. So I've seen this YouTuber for a while. Their name is Jack Dahater. Do Do Jack Doe. That's their name. The last few years, they've just become another one of those annoying live streamer YouTubers. Oh God, who would make live streams? Uh, I do live streams at Johnny Gilbert Official on Twitch. Um, anyways, <laughs> they will go IRL and pretty much seek out controversy or try to get into a party and have your security guard punch somebody. Oh, oh, you don't know about that? Oh, oh we'll get into that, don't worry. Anyways, before we get into that, I have to uh, turn on my lightsabers and show you guys some of my cool battle moves. So any future YouTubers that are gonna be annoying as fuck, um, they know that I am strapped up. Yeah. Oh. I think I'm in a hole in the roof. Oh God. No more annoying YouTubers on the internet today. Ah, oh, fuck! Oh, ow! All right, let's get into this. So right here we have Jack Doe Tree's TikTok, and if you didn't know, he has um an OF. But we don't need to click on that because I just really don't care. So let's click on some of his TikTok content and let's be judgmental pricks about it. <laughs> Every time I curse, I get shocked. Ah! Oh! Ah! My friends have told me recently that I've been cursing a lot off camera. So that's why I'm doing this shit. Ah! It's so scripted. It's like new scene. Let's uh, have a different camera angle. Then you say a bad word. So you get shocked. Oh, I'm not supposed to cuss. Okay, let me get shocked and then let me cuss. It's like, okay. Ah! And when my ex-girlfriend and I were going on our date, this happened. It was locked when we tried to dump it. Ah! That's so stupid. Ooh! When I was listening to music, this happened. You little stupid ass. Scripted. So scripted. And he looks at her and shit. Who's watching this? Nine year olds? I'm sorry. I can't even make it inside of McDonald's without getting zapped again. Pickles first. Jeez. Well, if he is just talking to a girl like that constantly, he deserves to be zapped. Ah, I'm sorry. And before I can even pay for our food, Grace said this. Can you pay for that, Jack? I'm not paying for this shit. Bro. Jeez. Oh, okay, I'll pay for it. And everything was going perfectly when all of a sudden I asked my ex girlfriend this. So, do you think we're gonna work out? Uh, no. What the f? I feel like I bought you that. Ah! Uh, can I just like hit my head against the wall until it bleeds? Oh, oh, stop, 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 stop. By the end of the day, my neck was hurting so bad, so I decided to lie down. But that was ruined really quickly. Yeah! <laughs> you know what's funny about this? Staged, everyone knows this. Like, unless if you're literally a fucking moron. Who knows if he's actually even being zapped by this thing? Like, I've been zapped by like fly swatters and dog collars around my neck and stuff. It does not make your body flare up to where you're like, ah, oh, fuck, fuck. It's like, yeah, it sucks, but it's not like they're gonna make you fly around in pain. So when my ex-girlfriend was sleeping in my bed, I snuck into my room to get back. Subscribe. Why is your ex-girlfriend sleeping in your bed? Weird. Another thing, like, they already have somebody filming. Bullshit. Garbage. I was just chilling in my massive bed all day by myself when all of a sudden this happened. Who is it? They just happen to be filming when the knocking happens? Yeah. Is McKinley here? No, she's at the mall. Why? I was just wondering. Okay. And after f the top comment on this video, cameraman is so hidden. That's so true. Like, apparently he's invisible. Minutes of hanging out with my ex-girlfriend, I noticed she scooted a lot closer to me. Bro, what are you doing? I'm just getting comfortable. For what? Dude, we're just hanging out. McKinley's not here. And literally less than five minutes later, she tried making a move on me. Grace, stop! What? Who the fuck would try to make a move on this guy? Like, I'm sorry, buddy. It's gotta be for the money. <laughs> it's gotta be. I wanna make some OF content. No, security! Whoa! Bro, oh, that's the guy. That's the guy. Okay, you don't know yet, but this security guard is actually the main reason I'm making this video because he's uh quite the hit, if you know what I mean. Yeah, upside down. Thank you. Hey, W McKinley, subscribe. That was awesome. Starburst called the cops on me, and all I wanted was a pumpkin spice latte. Could I get a pumpkin spice latte? What's the name of the one? These nuts. I'm sorry, I can't put that one. Uh, Daddy? Oh, can't put that one on the uh, Mommy? Uh, oh, this is literally just children shit. Jesus. Guys, no shooting in here. Oh, uh, we're not shooting. I don't care. Listen, get out. Whoa. Ow. Maybe I can't tell if this we one's actually scripted or not. We already paid. I don't care. 
here? Please. Nope. I want a pumpkin spice latte. We paid over six dollars. That's great. I can refund He's your. He's calling nine one one over a pumpkin spice latte. These people literally seek out trying to get kicked out constantly just for attention. That's it. Like if I get kicked out, it's not because I'm like, oh man, I need to get kicked out so I can actually make a video. It's like, okay, if it happens, it happens, and I'll fucking be like, okay, we'll go film somewhere else. These people are like, oh, let's just keep on staying in here and causing more of a problem. Starbucks just stole our money. He's giving your license plate. Except he literally said he'll give it back to you. Yay! And after all that, we still got the pumpkin spice latte. Yay. Subscribe. I hate the internet. I fucking hate it. I think I need to retire. Hello, mom. I can't do it anymore. Ah! <laughs> You know what I'm talking about. That's pretty much what his content is nowadays. A lot of scripted shit. A lot of trying to cause problems with people. A lot of live stream bullshit, which usually leads to fights and who knows how real any of it is. And then he also has his YouTube channel, which is pretty much as clickbaity as the thumbnails could ever look. This is the definition of what I hate about YouTube. And he actually started YouTube seven years ago and he was just doing like, you know, normal content like i can't hate on this too much he was still using the red arrows though apparently some things never change but he was like you know on the youtube grind he was actually killing it with some videos so i mean he's obviously a smart person in the sense of knowing what works that doesn't mean i necessarily respect it this is a weird thumbnail flips for a kiss at the mall 13 year old it has 10 million views that's fucking sus a lot of people want to watch a 13 year old get kissed apparently so a lot of his videos nowadays are just like vlogs of him you know doing exactly what he pretty much has done on tiktok and recently his security guard did this which he actually put into a youtube video he came to somebody else's party which was david dobrik's and he was live streaming the whole thing uh, i don't even know if david knew actually i know david didn't know because he literally was in part of one of these clips and he's like oh wait you're live right now it's just weird after the party, he got in a fight with somebody because he was trying to get Karinikov to do a live stream with him, and she was just not interested at the time, which is very understandable. And his security got really hot headed and eventually punches somebody. So let's watch all the content that led up to that. So, right here, we have Jack meeting David Dobrik at the party. This is kind of the introduction to what happened. Hey. David Dobrik! Hi, how are you? How you doing? So he didn't even know that they were alive. I wonder if he actually like was cool with him live streaming there. And then the second part, which is the main thing, is he sees Karina at the party and asks her to be in his kick stream. <laughs> That's so annoying. Already you could tell she was cool talking to him, but then she's like trying to figure out, oh wait, are you recording me? Because she doesn't know that there's a live stream going on at a party. It's just not that common, believe it or not. He just to his chat, who's full of like 12 year olds and stuff, just says that she has an ego because she just doesn't want to be a part of this random guy's stream. And then also says, fuck that bitch to a girl that he doesn't even know. I understand. This is a 20 year old guy. Maybe he's just immature as fuck. Maybe one day he'll grow out of it, but I doubt it. <laughs> he's been pretty consistent for the last, you know, seven years on his YouTube channel being annoying as fuck. So eventually, Corinna started getting messages of that clip of him saying, fuck that bitch and El Ego. And they all met up during that time. And it just led to a lot of drama. <laughs> Corinna call? What did I say? I don't know. She said, she said, she said you was talking shit to you. How? And, and I don't know. I'm she live stream. She, I don't know. Would you say something? Go look at my live stream. Go look at my live stream. Well, I've already gotten a clip pulled up of you calling her a bitch and saying she has an ego because she doesn't want to be in your stream. Hell ego. Fuck that bitch. Which actually, in fact, makes you sound like a bitch. But baby, I don't got your live stream pulled now, up. Now, I'm sorry. You'll never know. I don't know. You say something? Do you think I said something? God, I That's hate what I heard. This. That's all I heard. All right. And it's fine with me. Jack, do you say that. something? Yeah. You oh. think I said something? You yeah, that's her, what I heard. You called her an OnlyFans whore. Oh, Damn. he did. There's one part. I don't know where the clip is. It makes me wonder what he thinks he is because he does OnlyFans as well and manage a bunch of girls that you, I would, I would assume, are friends with and maybe even dating some of them or some shit. You know Corinna Lit. She so, is lit. Yeah, yeah so her. don't talk. You can't talk shit. He just said, I, I love her. You just called her a bitch because she didn't want to be in your stream and then an OnlyFans whore. Shut up, you fucking switch up. It's not talking shit. It's okay. more of a joke, but like, wait, you yeah, like, yeah, so yeah, 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 I call everyone an OnlyFans whore. We're all fucking OnlyFans whores. Wait, you like 
He's getting scared. He's getting scared. But you can't, you can't fucking talk that shit. Well, she's making racks. She making uh, racks. I think even if she wasn't making racks, you probably just shouldn't say that about people you don't know or anyone in general, quite honestly. I don't think it matters that she's making racks in this context, but I get what he's trying to say. You know, he's probably drunk and trying to, you know, just stand up for his friend. This kid is just annoying. You're lost in the sauce, bro. Like next thing you know, you're going to be like Logan Paul and filming dead bodies because you're so addicted to trying to do anything that can get you clout. You're going to get lost in the sauce and it's going to bite you in the ass. I mean, this pretty much did. Listen, bro, what, what are we doing, bro? Yeah, what are we doing? I, no, I'm just saying. What are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? Hey, you, you made somebody hey, upset. Hey, 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 why are you here? Hold on, hold on. What are we doing? Yeah. What are we doing? Hey, what are we doing? Hey, yo. Hey, hey, He's pressing them because his buddy's losing. Us two versus you two. All right, go. I'm running. No, I'm saying. Okay, you said what you said. You keep repeating. That's all I'm saying. So now, what's the next step? Now, do you want to suck my dick or what? Like, what do we get? You see how Jack's energy really changed up when his security stepped in? You're only saying that now because you have a giant security guard that can, like, protect you next to you. Hey, are you mad at me? Wait, now you want to talk. Talk shit about me then. I don't see someone talking shit. Just because I'm at a party and I don't want to talk to you, you say that. No, no, no. That's not what it was. That's exactly what it was. She was at a party. Party. She didn't want to talk to him, and he calls her an OnlyFans whore. It's pretty stupid. That's that literally what it was. Okay, wait, wait. I literally got sent a clip in the middle of a party. Oh, really? I just like, just because I'm at a party. W Clippers. Try hard for attention shit, bro. W Clippers, W Clippers, shut up. I don't want to be on a stream. I'm just saying why. Wait, chill, chill. No, no, no. Just back up. Just stop. Just stop. Just stop. Everything's been verbal. He's not even super involved. I mean, he's kind of, you know, the side character right now. He's just there to protect his man-child, which is Jack. You're saying y'all say no, you No, just stop. Tone stop. Tone stop. Tone stop. Tone stop. Tone stop. Out of nowhere. Like, this is a big ass guy. Tone stop. Tone stop. He grabs his arm, punches him in the oh. face. And apparently, the guy that got punched is actually a lawyer. So, hopefully, the security guard gets hella sued for this. He luckily, like, was able to keep his body up. But if he, like, hit the back of his head from that, he could easily have died. Oh, no, yo, stop. Stop. No, I'm with you. Are you fucking. Crazy? Hey, what's up? Hey, one by one. What's up, man? He said one by one to a bunch of girls and they're the ones that are causing problems. So instantly that blew up and everyone was freaking out and pretty much saying L security guard, you know. Some people were actually praising him quite honestly and being like, Jack is so W for this, so funny. <laughs> security guard W, all that kind of stupid shit. But in my eyes, that's pretty insane. There was also another party that happened, which I happened to be at and Jack goes there and instantly can't get in. But he assumes that he can't get in because of a blacklist, which is not true the party was just too full yeah. this was a party that i was at and i unfortunately didn't get to see this happen but i have to say if i saw this guy in person i would have definitely not probably been that friendly i'm gonna be quite honest hey bye loser hey, hey, hey jerk off to that picture tonight bag. So he's like somehow allowed to call people the F slur as well and get away with that. I don't understand why that's okay. Uh, fuck Karina. Fuck Karina. Karina's a whore. I'm it's kind of crazy that he's saying this too because Karina was not even at this party. She wasn't even there. I don't even know if these people that were doing this party even know Karina like that. <laughs> I'm doubling down. Fuck that bitch. He's very tough when she's not there and her friends aren't there. He's just a baby. Just a fucking baby that needs to start shit for attention. He's also been known to hang out with FouseyTube and if you guys didn't know, FouseyTube is super manic and has a lot of problems and I've done a lot of videos on him. This is one of Jack's first times hanging out with uh, FouseyTube and look at how he reacts. Just like shit like that. Don't be ashamed of fake pranks, dog. You're playing the game. Nah, you're a fucking hustler. <laughs> None of your pranks are real. Stop. No, actually, the ASMR. Show me one real prank. Well, if right it's now. like with a random person, it's real. If I'll it's jump like with in the girl, water like... right now if you show me one real prank. Jump what? Show me one real prank right now. Uh, bad, bad, bad. I Stand on it. Not one where you uh, give people money. I have to think. Of this. He has to like search so hard to find one real video from himself. I mean, he's making money. It's true. But like at what cost, you know? Your cars are real. Your money's real. But you're building it off of a lie. You're true. a multi-millionaire off of a lie. Just own it. Nah, I'm not. You'll grow as a man. There's a difference between like obvious skit videos okay, and like... Do skit. Yes, I do. You, you can watch my videos, bro. bro. But anyways, Fousey's just all over the place. And Jack's mindset is, hey, I'm going to use all this for a video. And then a little bit after this, Fousey, you know, goes to a mental hospital for about 74 days and now he's back and he's in like Aiden Ross streams and stuff and I could just tell you that FouseyTube is still lost his mind. So the reason why I'm bringing up Fousey is because this is Sneeko who's top tier annoying piece of shit person and obviously streaming on the app Rumble. Yeah. He asked him about Fousey. Hey, let, me, let me ask you, are you free Fousey? Yeah, fuck yeah. Yeah? Hell yeah. I can't wait for him to come out. To come out? 
of the mental hospital. Okay. okay. Both, yeah, I guess the... You really are G7 after all that? Bro, fuck yeah, it's cool. I like to hear that. Them. Wait, let me ask you this. I don't care. Uh, people keep saying that I'm like, I'm exploiting Fousey. They definitely are. That's literally the only reason why he wants him out. But at the end of the day, it's like impossible to do anything with them without benefiting off it. So it's like, you, there's really no winning in the situation, but... Uh, just don't hang out with him. That's the thing to do, is just don't hang out with him. Especially after all the weird ass shit that he's done. That's just my opinion. Jack, if you're watching this, you suck. You're a little twat. I don't like you. And I'm sure you hate me. And I love that. Anyways, be sure to check out my merch at johnnygilbert.com. We have a lot of merch. Hell yeah. <laughs> and you can also check out my music at Spotify slash Johnny Gilbert. I have a new song and music video coming out November 25th called Zombie. Pre-save it down below. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Stay up in our copy. Last bitch, don't quit. And peace out. Thug pugs. Okay. Bye.